These are medications used for post-herpetic neuralgia. This happens after you get shingles. Here's the progression of shingles. And then many days later, if you still have pain, it's post-herpetic neuralgia. First line treatments include tricyclic antidepressants, which are the most effective for post-herpetic neuralgia. The nortriptyline is preferred over amitriptyline. It's better tolerated with equal efficacy, lower side effects. These are usually limited by anticholinergic side effects, especially in older patients. Some anticonvulsants like gabapentin and pregabalin also work well, few side effects, non-addictive. Lastly, opioids like tramadol specifically, which has opioid receptor effects and also SNRI effects is also a first line option. For topical care, lidocaine helps, lidocaine ointment or lidocaine patches, specifically for allodynia. There are other interventional options for refractory cases. You can do an epidural or an intrathecal dose of methylprednisone with local anesthetic. You can also do spinal cord stimulation or alcohol neurolysis. What's not effective is NSAIDs like Toradol or, um, ty or, um, or ibuprofen. Antivirals like acyclovir are not beneficial for established PHN. They used to think it was, but it's not. Uh, treatment approach, you can use medicines in combination for synergistic effects, and you should tailor it to each individual patient, especially considering if they're elderly. Uh, most patients have allodynia, so uh, lidocaine would help.